An insignificant moment. Well, her and I got in an argument, you know, because she was wanting to go out and party and I didn't want her to. A little disagreement between a mother and daughter. She was just mad at her mother and she just wanted to get away. A typical teenage moment most would forget or laugh about as adults. But Debbie Gonzalez never got that chance. Debbie is frozen in time as a 13-year-old who wanted to celebrate her 14th birthday with friends and wasn't going to take no for an answer. I wish I would have stopped her. You know, wish I did more. I always think that. Debbie left her federal way home in August of 1987 and never came back. Teenagers back then, we were different than the teenagers are now. Uh, a lot of us were very rebellious and wanted to do what we wanted to do, but uh, you know, we got to come home and grow up and still, you know, be here and live, live a life. She didn't. Debbie's family knew deep down something awful had happened soon after she didn't come home. But that glimmer of hope stuck with them until detectives came to their door with a question. They asked specifically if she was wearing uh, an ankle bracelet with a little charm on it. And she was. I remember her wearing that. We broke down instantly. And my heart just like it fell to the floor. Because your child's not supposed to go before you do. Processing they'd never see her again was one thing. It was a month and a half that she was out in those woods. Trying to comprehend the way she was killed. When they found her, um, she was only wearing one pink sock and that ankle bracelet. Was another thing entirely. It was very gruesome. There was no open casket. We couldn't see her when we buried her. Debbie was found off the long and windy Black Diamond Auburn Road. It was a wooded area. Um, hasn't really changed much since this time. Uh, it was a uh, known party location for uh, local teenagers and people that lived in the area. Um, uh, Debbie herself was known to frequent that area with uh, groups of people. Detective John Free is particularly passionate about cold cases. He has Debbie's case file now, a file that tells a story that's painful to read, even for a seasoned detective. Her life hadn't even begun yet, uh, and then she was murdered. Her final moments, uh, you know, I, I think of maybe the terror she felt at that time. Uh, and it's just, it's emotional. An emotional case Detective Free knows is solvable. It's a whodunit to us as law enforcement, but it's not necessarily a whodunit uh, to the people that associated with her or with the, the suspect in this case. He needs witnesses to come forward, and he hopes a certain piece of evidence may jog someone's memory. There was a machete that was found uh, near the scene of where Debbie's body was recovered. Not necessarily the murder weapon, but still potentially an important clue. Certainly there's there's a reason uh, to maybe use it if it's in a wooded area. Maybe I was used to cut wood for, for campfires and that kind of thing. But we're specifically interested in anybody that might remember something about somebody having that or, or using that. Detective Free believes Debbie's killer was familiar with this patch of woods where teenagers often sat around at a bonfire, drinking, laughing, carefree. Investigators think the killer likely blended in. Science can take it so far, but sometimes it just takes that one person that remembers something that can really break the case wide open. I wasn't the same person. Debbie's family will never again be the people they were before her murder. I never got to see her get married, have kids. She missed all that. Didn't even get to go to her prom. The dreams they have of her, some nightmares, some not, will likely never go away. Some are her being here and then losing her again over and over and over. But then there are some dreams that are like, just out of the blue, she shows up like she just was gone on a vacation for 20, 30 years, and she's back. But without answers, there is no chance at healing. If this person is found, there'll be that part of the story that is, is done, and um, we can grieve in a different way at that 